We worried about you for many weeks watching you sit down there in the bottom oh, three. We thought you going to have a heart attack at one point. I mean, come on. How much can you take? Describe what that's like when you're called to sit in that bottom three chair, especially repeatedly. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the first time, the first time it was tough because I felt like I hadn't done what I needed to do yet on the show. And uh, so I was really upset. And that was when I was with Casey. And um, and I actually thought I was going. So when I went, I went back to, to the everybody that got through, James, and everybody, Paul, Scotty, you know, Scotty looks like he's about to cry. Paul's crying. And I'm like, hey, I'm like, you know what? If they send me out, because this is the wild card, had, or the, the, the save hadn't been used yet. I'm like, I'm jumping in the crowd. I'm going to kiss J-Lo. I'm going to have fireworks. It's going to be all good. I'm staying. And they're like, oh, okay, bro, we love you. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. So I go out there, and then it was Casey, and I was like, oh, my gosh, Casey. And I'm like, Casey, man, because I, I had a gut feeling, and everybody did, that we, we were going to do the top, they were going to do the top 11 for the, for the tour because we were so good. It was so good. The show was so great. We were like, somebody's getting it. And so when I hugged Casey, I was like, Casey, you got this, bro. I was like, don't even trip. Don't start with me. Because, you know, he's like shaking. I'm like, don't don't even start, man. You got this. And and he did good. But after that, you know, it was kind of like, all right, I've been in this rodeo before. You know, um, it is what it is. Let me let me go out and do a great job with my last song and, and put a great impression on everybody. Right. Well, you obviously already had fans then, and you got even more now. And we're not going to see in the last of you, of course. But there was rumored to be one really big fan on the show. Uh, you and Pia? You were saying you guys were close. You would you like to elaborate? Oh, on that? Stefano! Come on! May we just grab? You knew we were going to go there. The National Enquirer and read this to Let's you. Let's see. Ahem, front page. And you may respond. <laughs> yes. With each statement. Please do. Thank you. Go ahead. Go American ahead. Idol sensation Pia Toscano is caught in a four-sided love triangle. Ooh. The raven haired beauty is locked in a bizarre <laughs> triangle with idol Stefano Langoni and handsome dancing with the stars lady man Mark Ballas. Your heart was broken by Pia. Now, seriously. Just tell us. You know, we truth. know you're a flirt, Stefano. It's okay. Were you working Pia at the idol mansion? You Stefano. can tell. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what I will say? You know, me. Um... Now, you know what? You can say anything. What we want <laughs> is the truth. The truth is, the truth is, uh, you know, uh, me and Pia had a great bond when she was on the show, and uh, she's doing work now. She's doing what a great kind job. of a great bond? <laughs> you know, I wanna just, I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that. You know, uh, uh, we we were really close, and right. uh, it was fun. You know? Did you ever trade spit with her? No. Uh, I would never trade spit. No. All right. Well, no. how would I better gracefully? I don't know. Was she no. ever no. no, seriously. Did you ever need a back rub because or anything? No. So, you know what? Like, we were there for each other. We were there for each other. All right. Wait. Of I think we know, touched a yeah, nerve. We're, yeah, so we're... you hate Mark Ballas then? Oh, I so you got to take him down. <laughs> oh man. Right. And that Chris Jericho, you're gonna take him out because then he passed her Chris number. Chris is cool, man. We went out. You did? Yeah. He's well, the listen. one that gave her Mark's number. No, Didn't I was there it? when it all happened. James gave him the number from Chris Jericho. He got the thing. So. Now, so, Stefano, okay, no, so it's you know James. what? We're, no, 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 no. You guys, you guys are. Look. <laughs> look. All right. Hold up. Pump the brakes. Let's pump them. Let's pump them. Okay. So, <laughs> Mark is a cool dude. I met him last week. He's a cool guy. And Pia is a great woman. And she's going to do work in the music industry. And she's doing work right now. And I'm very happy for her. And, uh, and that's, that's enough said. Except like that you never to want duet. to talk to her again. I would love to do a duet with people. No. Listen, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. in all honesty, um, I up? think that the lesson here, Stefano, is yes. that when you are in the public eye and yes. people take something and they start to run with it, oh, yeah. I mean, how do you, uh, in just at starting with you, yeah. maintain it? And well, well, first of all, th it was great. I had my, my vocal coach, Bird. She always used to tell me, she was like, this is star school. You learn everything you need to learn when you're here. And what you get out of here, you take, you take out there. So um, one of the things that I learned, one of the many things that I learned, um, if you take a picture with somebody, if you take just a picture, uh, be ready to hear about it because it's going to be everywhere. 
And and that's how everything kind of started with me and Pia. There was just a couple pictures, and then next thing you know, boom, 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 boom. Everyone's kind of just spinning everything, and uh, and then it just led to this right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sorry about that. Uh, Stefano, um, you were really the last one. You were the last one to survive that were handpicked by uh, the three judges. Yes. Uh, Jennifer Lopez uh, 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 picked you. Um, it has turned out to be an amazing idol season. It's going to be the 13 touring. So really what J-Lo did in scooping you up there was was pretty amazing. And the fact that you made it to the top eight, you definitely top ten, you lasted longer top than anybody seven. else. Top seven has got to give you... Uh, got to get right. it right now. Got to get counting. it right now. Everyone lucky counts. seven. Lucky yeah. number seven. I got to remember that number. <laughs> but it, it must... It, it must feel really good for you, and, and you know when you think of Jennifer Lopez uh, and going back there, she didn't have to pick you. She did not, but um, you know what? I think uh, for me, uh, it's kind of the, the whole situation was perfect, and it was kind of the story of my life being at the bottom again, you know, and having to work my way up. I mean, just like when I was in an accident, or you know what we were talking about earlier. It's it's, a, it's not necessarily the action; it's the reaction. I had an opportunity to to get myself up. And, and show America what I had one last time. I had one more shot for the judges to see, for the, everybody to see, the crowd, everybody. And uh, and I felt like I executed it. They did, and, and that's why I came this far. And how about it for Stefano for coming this far? It's really... I, I, I listen to your voice. Your vibrato is incredible. Your voice is, a, it's very pure. I mean, you listen to a Paul McDonald, you know, there's the, the raspiness. Your voice is very pure, and I see nothing but really great things for you, Stefano, and we're Thank so you, grateful to have you in here. I know you've only had 30 minutes of sleep. Yes. Um, when do you think you'll be able to rest, and how long when you finally hit the pillow will it last i think sunday is my day off so uh, that's when i'm planning on to sleep but you know i can i can i can wait to sleep man this is this yeah, is this is your time this is my time yeah. and uh, um i hope i don't look like i had 30 minutes of sleep he does right? he does he look at no. you looks great do i look all right look at the girls they won't even yeah. look at there's your right. answer okay cool yeah uh, can you tell us anything uh rumors or anything that you've heard about the american idol tour which you'll be a part of this summer you know what? Um, I know we're going to start rehearsals pretty soon, um, but I don't know any of the duets yet. I'm really excited to find that out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's going to be an amazing tour. I'm going to tell you right now, this tour is going to be nuts. <laughs> and, um, and and just really the, the, the talent, just the whole buzz, everything, it, it's so cool because there's so many different elements. There's going to be so many different highs and lows and amazing things in this tour. You guys got to go. It's going to be insane. Trust me. And yeah. of the songs you did this season, what was your favorite that you performed? That I performed? Um, the, of course, you know, you have the, the wild card performance. Um, and then uh, between Lately and, uh, um, and Come Closer. You yeah. know, uh, Closer was very fun for me. You know, I actually got to show another side to my performance. Um, you know, kind of get on the grown and sexy kind of a little bit. Yeah. You know, you know, we love that bad, performance. You know and you know, you got like a little bit of a hip hop background too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When, um, I started, I started doing, uh, choruses and, uh, hooks for rappers in Seattle. And that's kind of how I started in that game. And, uh, um, and that's what I plan on doing also when, when I finally get out, I already got stuff lined up, ready to go. And, uh, um, you will be seeing s some Stefano. So I'm, I'm really pumped up for that. Very quickly. Anybody have a question for Stefano? Yeah. Questions. What's up? What's anybody? going on? What's going on? Guys? Anybody, anybody hands, 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 hands. Oh, okay. Did you get real nervous right before you went on stage? Did you always seem calm and together? The first time, um, we went on stage live. That was the, that was actually my wild card performance. When we went out there, I remember Ryan asked me a question. And I'm thinking in my head, 30 million people watch, 30 million people watch, 30 million people watch. <laughs> and he asked me, and I'm like, um, yeah, Ryan, I think that uh, Paul is has a weird, what? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and seriously, it was so bad. Um, but that moment, I was like, man, I just really blew that. Um, I got to figure something out here, because that wasn't good. So then after that, like uh, that when I had to perform, that was like, oh my gosh, I can't think of anything. I got to do what I got to do and get it done. And that was actually the moment when I was like, hey, this is it. I, I'm singing to the crowd. There's a camera there, but I don't see 20, 30 million people in it. Uh, no. So I'm going to just sing to the crowd and uh, sing for myself and, and everything and, and do it. And watching the show, you know, the live audience seems to be uh, an unbelievable uh, boost of energy for the performers. Did you get a lot oh, yeah. from them too? Oh, I, 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 loved, I loved getting done singing and having such a great 
feedback from the crowd. And and even though seeing those I, Stefano signs. Oh yeah, man. Even though not not like being in the bottom three, I'd be in the bottom three. But I was like, man, the the applause and the love that I got after I sang that song was unbelievable. And and that's that's what it is all about. That's that's everything. You know, singing and and affecting people emotionally and making people feel something. That's that's what I do this for. Yeah. Did uh, did you have a conversation uh, with Jennifer Lopez following the show, and can you share it with us? Yeah, um, you know, she came up to me and, and really acknowledged me, and, and I've had a great relationship with her and Mark, especially Mark. Um, they're such great people. That, I mean, they're amazing as performers, as, you know, musicians, but as people. I mean, they were so welcoming to me. And uh, Mark, at times, made me feel like a brother, you know, and uh, they really took me out of the wing, and um, she just came up to me and said, just keep on working, because if you keep on working how you we know you work, uh, we gonna see a lot of you. So, and and that just you know made me feel good. And then Randy said you know s- says what he says, and and it was just a great response from them. And it's just feeling good getting that acknowledgement from them, getting all the acknowledgement I get from the producers. And um, you know that's all I need. Yeah. That's all I need. Would you like to hear Stefano yes. sing right now? Yes. This was a huge record when it came out. At the time, it was number one longer than any other song in pop history, uh, Stefano Langoni doing Boys to Men, End of the Road. Mm. We belong together And you know that I'm right Why do you play with my heart? Why do you play with my mind? When I can't sleep at night without holding you tight Girl, each time I try, I just break down and cry Pain in my head, oh, I'd rather be dead Spinning around and around Although we've come to the end of the road Still I can't, no, I can't let you go It's unnatural You belong to me I belong to you Gone To the end Of the road Still I can't Let you go Yes I'm not your own You belong to me I belong to you If you love me Like you love me before Girl this time want you to love me much more this time instead just come to my bed and baby just don't let me down no 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 i can't no i can't let you go no no you belong to me To the end. 